What is up guys, welcome back to your Motorhead YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. So guys, unfortunately I did mess up. I uh, drove up onto a curb and messed up this lip and ripped all that paint off. But I actually have some good news. I actually bought a CR bumper and a authentic CR lip. And so now I don't even have to fix this bumper right here. I do have a brand new one that I can just slap on and I'm going to get it painted. So as you guys know, I do have the hood trimmed out. So I want to put that hood on here and I want to blend these fenders because I did find some bad body work on this fender right there. I don't know if the camera can really see it, but it just doesn't look good. And honestly, the worst of the paint on this car is the front end. So I think blending these fenders is going to be perfect because it's just going to perfect it. So yeah, I'm going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and take this front bumper off because I also do want to take these headlights off and re-clear coat that one and replace that one. So yeah, stay tuned guys, it's gonna be super exciting. I can't wait to get it done and let's get right into it. So before I disassemble anything, I want to put that new hood on. That way I can set it and get these gaps right with the bumper before the bumper comes off. And then once I get that hood set up, I can go ahead and strip this front end down. If anyone's interested in this bumper, it will be for sale. I mean, it's an OEM bumper. There's no real damage, it's just paint chipping. Same with this, you know, it's not dented or anything. The paint is just chipping off. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram down below. I'll sell this bumper. I don't know if I'll ship it. Maybe if you pay for shipping, I will. But yeah, let's go ahead and get that hood on, get it fit up, and then we can strip down this front end. All right, so we are ready to go ahead and start sanding, but before I sand it, I wanna pull it out and clean it. Cause as you can see all this grime right here, if I try and sand this, it's going to scratch the paint and we're only gonna be throwing clear coat here. So I really want this to be perfect. So we're gonna give it a nice little wash and then we'll sand it. I'm gonna sand this with the 400. I'm really happy with this hood. You know, there's no damage on it at all. I actually got this off Goon Squad's car that I bought from them. And then these I'm gonna scuff with some scuff paste and we're gonna just have a little bit of paint on them just so it'll match perfectly. So let's go ahead and pull it outside, give it a wash and get it ready for paint. Okay guys, so we finally got the car sanded and in the paint booth, it was such a pain in the butt. Look at this guys, I have to literally stack a bunch of blocks there and then I still have to stack even more here for it to get over. But we're in here, we're ready to start taping it up. I did find some body work, as you can see right there. And so I did have to fix it, a little dent, no big deal. 
and also there was bad body work here so I blocked it down primed it and I found a little ding there but now we are ready to go ahead and tape this bad boy up and I am also deleting the tag holes on the bumper so I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to start taping because I do want to go ahead and finish bondoing it and let the primer dry while I'm taping this up so yeah let's get started all right guys as you can see the tag holes are deleted everything looks nice and smooth we're gonna let this dry and as you can see this is the CR bumper so it does have the holes for the lip which the oh the aftermarket ones they just glue on and I didn't like that so I went with OEM it's gonna be super nice and this thing is just gonna look beautiful so we're gonna go in there and take the car while this dries and when we get back we'll wet sand this and get it in the booth and paint it all Alright guys, so it is taped up. We got the bumper on the stand. I actually love this bumper stand. We just got it like probably a month ago and it just makes painting bumpers so much easier. And you can get all up inside here and everything. Super nice and definitely worth it. I also went ahead and sanded down the headlights. I'm going to set those up on a bucket probably somewhere over here and tape up the housings because I do want to re-clear coat these. This is actually a different headlight because the original one was too far gone. This one is actually pretty bad but for now it'll work and i think with clear it'll look pretty good but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clean this car and then we're gonna go ahead and start spraying the sealer we're gonna throw it on white because it's a good base coat for yellow yellow covers very poorly and then we'll move on from there i do also need to tape up these so yeah let's get to work Okay guys, so it has actually been like three days since that last clip. Unfortunately, I was having some issues and the bumper did react on me and I ran out, I ran out of paint. And so I have to wait till today, Monday, because the paint store opens today. They don't work on the weekend. So I couldn't get it finished, but I actually this morning went ahead and threw down all the paint. I got the first layer down. This is a tri-coat, so it takes base coat, second coat, which is the pearl, and then obviously clear coat. But I got it looking very nicely. Everything looks nice and uniform. The blend looks amazing. Uh, I really am excited to clear coat this, but I'm also worried to see how it's going to match because I did go over a little right here. But hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully it turns out good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat this and then I'll show it to you guys out in the sun.
Okay guys, so it has been a couple days since we painted the car. I did get extremely sick and I had to stay at home and recover, but we're back at the shop and the car looks beautiful. And I'm actually glad that the car had some time to cure because I will be putting CR lip on it. And I really didn't want it pressing up against fresh paint, but I think now it'll be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bumper. I'm gonna fully reassemble it. I'm about to show you guys the CR lip and everything that comes with it. And then also I need to put that grill in. But once I get the bumper fully assembled, I can go ahead and move on. I do need to fix this wire right here. As you can see, this is my turn signal. And it's for some reason ripped off. So I need to replace that before I do anything. That way I can put this headlight back on and this turn signal will work. So yeah, let's get to it and let's get to work. So here we have the lip guys. I do need to go ahead and assemble it. It does have a rubber seal that goes on the top and then it just bolts on from the back. Hence the reason there are these holes here and it has some special bolts. So I'm gonna go get the hardware, reassemble the bumper and show it to you guys completely assembled. Okay guys, so here it is assembled and man, I just love the fitment and everything with this gasket it comes with. It just looks beautiful and everything bolts down and this slip is designed by Honda for proven downforce. So it's gonna go really well with my CR wing. And as you can see, it bolts in on the back here. I have all the hardware and then it goes with two screws right there. And man, I just love how it looks. Let me know down below guys, which ones you would rather have. The OEM style lip, well, they're both OEM. That's an aftermarket OEM one, but it's like the OEM like sport lip, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called. And then obviously that's the OEM CR lip. But this is authentic, the bumper is authentic, and I did buy originally a cheap CR lip off eBay, and I was just going to put it onto this bumper, but I bought it and I fit it up, and it was not fitting at all, it was just super crappy, and it had no mounting tabs, it was literally just 3M tape right here, and when you line it up to the ends, there would be a huge gap here, and I absolutely hated it, but this lip is beautiful, everything lines up, I don't got to drill no holes, do nothing, I literally just bolted it all on. And I'm super happy with this. So I'm going to pull the S2000 up, get those headlights on, and get this bumper on. Because I literally cannot wait to see it all together, guys. I'm so stoked. So let's go ahead and pull up the S2000 and get it together.
all right guys so that is going to be a wrap for this video and just like that guys my vision is coming to life with this car i'm super happy with the results of this front end you know i was really stressing that pearl yellow i really did not have much room to blend here as you can see but i did try to keep it on top of this body line and i mean you can't even tell there's nothing there i mean i do need to buff the paint a little bit it's not perfect but i'm happy with the results and i will buff it later i want the paint to cure but i just love how everything turned out especially this cr lip you know matches up beautifully it fits beautifully and it's just really completes the car and that carbon is just it was such an eyesore to me to be honest i mean i have nothing against carbon but honestly if it fit better and it didn't flap in the wind like that you know i was so scared that it would just come up and hit my windshield one day so i mean it had to go for sure i would have maybe get a carbon fiber hood with like the piece here for the intake and then the vent you know that would be pretty sick but now obviously after i put all this work into it i'm definitely not going to i'm going to leave it exactly how it is i did forget to paint these so i just painted them gloss black and threw them in i think it actually looks pretty cool when you look at it and you know everything just turned out beautifully i do still have the hard top to put on it's gloss black i think it's going to look so awesome with these rims and the way i set everything up i also ordered new s2000 badges black and then also i ordered a new authentic type r emblem as you guys remember that previous emblem was all destroyed it was a cheap fake one but i wanted everything to look good oh and also i don't know if i mentioned it but i did clear coat these headlights this is actually a replacement one because the other one was too far gone and this one is original and i clear coated this one and guys it makes the front look so much better and so much newer because i mean these headlights were bad i did try to buff them out originally and save them but they was just too far gone so i couldn't do that luckily i did have this headlight conveniently the headlight that i had was the one that was super cracked up and unfixable so that's gonna be it guys uh I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like to see another video on it. The only thing I'm probably going to do now is a hard top. And then also I do have some Brom seats and a custom steering wheel. But I could completely transform this interior. I was thinking red carpets completely like this part here. All red. And this little door trim here red with red stitch everywhere. And a Alcantara wheel with red. I have everything to do it. I just don't know if red is going to clash with yellow so let me know in the comments below it's obviously not going to be full on red because the carpets will be black and then the under carpet will be red so it's a little bit of red there just a little bit here and then red stitching everywhere so let me know what you guys think of that if anything i can make another video putting on that hard top and the new interior just to show you guys what it looks like but yeah that's going to be it i do have some cool plans for this car in the future but that's just top secret and it's not going to happen anytime soon. We actually do need to hop back on my cousin's Mustang. Which will be doing the body work and getting that thing painted. So stay tuned guys. Sorry I haven't been posting as much. You know, kind of took a break from videos. And had to get a lot of my own personal stuff done. And also I did have a lot of customer jobs. Plus we do need to finish that Lincoln. So we'll be back to it. Posting regular content guys. Bear with us. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to stick around and see that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like also if you want to get the inside scoop before the video drops you can follow me on instagram at motorhead.co i'll link it down below we appreciate all your love and support guys and your view thanks for watching peace